Hi there, Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your March 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, um, for this month, I'm using a new deck, and it is called the Light Fierce Tarot. It's actually one of my most favorite deck right now, so it's very vibrant, and I like the art all at the same time. I hope you guys do enjoy them as well. So, um, anyway how we are going to be doing the predictions for the month is really more on to check in what are the energies at play that might be influencing us in terms of our life personal life and relationships all of the same time so just do know that whatever i mentioned here on this video and the predictions that i i say here is really more of the energies that i'm picking up for that specific sign and for you guys it is for taurus so if you feel that you don't resonate with this reading, you don't really have to take it too much to heart. Um, just take in what feels resonating to you and you can leave out the rest behind. So um, yeah, please do know that it's not going to resonate and connect to each and every Taurus people out there. Um, just keep that in mind. Anyway, without any further ado, let's just go in and dive into the reading. Okay. So I'm going to be starting off the reading by checking in what is the planetary energy that, you know, really is influencing um, Taurus people out there this month of, of March 2021. And we have here um, Saturn. Um, this is the card of Saturn. And Saturn is um, the planet of karma planet of um, limitations, delays, and frustrations at times. So you might have this influence wherein you might be feeling frustrated about how things are not exactly moving or happening in the way that you want things to be, or how you accomplish certain things um, takes a lot of work and for some cases this can be an element of frustration it really depends right now what type of frustration or what type of limitation this is giving you uh, for example i do have a friend who has a moon in taurus and a lot of taurus energy um she got herself um into a an accident by falling off the stairs and while that is really not that significant what has happened is that she broke her leg to a point where in um, a cast would would be needed um, for her to uh, recover for a few weeks I would say uh, there and how this is gonna be playing out is that it's ac it actually created um, some form of limitation with her movement and uh, you know the things that she does and everyday life is something that she cannot do anymore and even if she does try um, it, it's a bit harder you know so that is a, a bit of a Saturn energy right there you know um, she cannot move the way that she wanted to especially that you know she hit her leg and it's specifically her heel part which is you know um, a very important um, um system in our um body functions and the way we walk the way we move things and stuff like that we cannot do our drive and stuff you know there's a lot of things that we cannot do but it doesn't mean that you cannot accomplish any task so i just want to give you guys um an example on how this can actually play out so um, we have over here is the four of swords crossing over the magician card and this could be a situation wherein maybe this is could this could be a time wherein you you need to have some form of rest there are things that you know has been going on in your mind um this could be an element wherein something is actually frustrating you during this time um this is really more of a situation wherein you are feeling so many things inside of you that you want it to happen like maybe when when we relate this to a relationship setup there's a lot of things that you want to experience i want to experience love i want to be happy and all of that but am i just 
going to be wishing for them and not really experiencing them so there's a lot of doubt a lot of confusion going on inside your head during this time especially we have the ace of cups over here and the two of cups on this side so you're seeing here that you know relationship is at the forefront of your um, energy right now of your situation you have been really patient with certain things but there's a lot of things uh, a lot of what if that you wanted to to really um, get answers on I kind of feel that you know this is really going to be a point where in you are going to be paying attention on certain things in your life that you have not really paid attention to and it might be you know taking care of more of yourself loving yourself more and by doing all of those kinds of things you you actually make a path to the things that you want to have in your life you know so it gives me a feeling that by by loving yourself by taking care of yourself you might you know find someone that can love you in return you know uh this the six of cups is really more of a harmonious energy you know going back into something maybe um makes me feel that y you could be in a situation where in you might be doing something that you have done in the past but this time you are going to be doing it in a different way in a very harmonious way because you already have gained enough experiences now this can happen you know it doesn't it doesn't have to be a relationship about love this could be something financial something ha that has to do with your personal life with your status in life with your um entrepreneurship maybe um it gives me that form of feeling and this can also be a situation wherein if it is a, a love situation there are lessons in terms of your love life you know you are at the point wherein you feel that there is some form of frustration and stuck energy and something might be happening for the month of march that allows you to overcome it uh one way or another moving past this this feeling of being stuck and actually um doing something that you have done before that smoothens everything else smoothens the relationship um, of the situation and it has a lot to do with balancing the give and take of a relationship or you know feeling in what is being uh, what is what has been a form of lack in your life so um i guess at the best way to explain is that if you have been giving in too much to a certain person for example your partner this could be a time wherein you need to balance that you cannot just give and give um without taking any you know you need to receive something you cannot be a person who just give all the time into the relationship and you know be a martyr and tell yourself that it's okay i love them for who they are and i'm not going to be asking anything in return and while um that form of idea is actually really nice and really um i would say um very humble i would say um truth be told we do want to feel something we do want to be loved by our partner and not just to love them but them loving us all at the same time so there, there's going to be a lesson here that you need to experience learn and um overcome with wherein it's not just about loving someone but uh, getting to receive a form of love in your life all at the same time so there's going to be a new beginning of some kind into your life but um, before that new beginning actually occurs for you i kind of feel that there's going to be a lot of realization a lot of contemplation you know for some people this is go this is going to be you know maybe you are going to be taking a break from work or this is going to be you studying certain things so that you are going to be a lot more ready with what you are going to be pursuing uh on your next path or um to what you are planning into your future you know it has a lot to do with your goals dreams and wishes right now so maybe you're you're changing things up with 
how you want things to happen. I kind of feel that you know, maybe you have been feeling this quite recently, or maybe it's been such a long time since you have thought about what you actually wanted in life. But this is going to be a month wherein, um, you're really going to be pausing and stop, you know, stopping, um. Stopping the things that you have been doing without any result. So, if you have been working on probably a job or a relationship, or in um, things are not really moving forward, there is no growth. There's really literally nothing that is happening. This could be a time wherein you are going to stop doing that. You know, you are going to be. St- You're going to stop doing what you have been doing that has not brought you any form of results. So I hope that that makes it a lot clearer. Um, and this would be a time for you to actually um, think about what you want and think about what you want to have. So I think that it's really important to emphasize that because this is not just about you. Um, Being mindlessly and blindlessly in love with someone, but this is about you wanting to receive something. Because this time around, it's not just about you giving all of yourself, but this is about you, um, because you have accepted the fact that you also love yourself. You are wanting to have to have some form of receiving. Receiving attention, receiving some form of love, um, so that everything gets balanced out into your relationships, especially, especially if you are in a love relationship and things are not really quite right right there. Because I kind of feel that there's a lot of strong confusion going on um, in terms of relationships, and this confusion, this misunderstanding that might be going on in that relationship will make you think. On whether you should continue the path,、um, whether you should continue being like this with a specific person in mind. So, again,、um, it doesn't have to be very complicated. And when I tell you that you're not gonna be doing something that you you are already doing, it doesn't mean it's a breakup. It just means that there are form of ha- habits. Or patterns in your life, and with how you deal with relationships, that needs to change if you really want to, to be happy. If you really want to have some form of fulfillment and, um, uh, I would say some form of satisfying situation in your life, definitely communication and messages is going to play a very important role right now, which is going to be making you think, making you. Um, reanalyze certain things, making you think that、uh, maybe this is not the right way to do things, and you are going to be changing it up. So, some form of opportunity, some form of doors, locked doors, are going to be open for you for the month of March. That it doesn't really give you the answer, but it gives you the solution to change things up. To balance what is not balanced in your life in your relationship, and it might not be easy to do, and it could be a headache. It could be very frustrating. Remember, we do have Saturn, the Saturn energy over here, so it could be a situation wherein, at one point of your life, it makes you feel helpless, but at the same time, it is going to you know bring you a lot of understanding, a lot of insights, and bring you an aha moment. Okay, why have I not? Um, why is it that I did not do this before when it's clearly something that I should have done? So I kind of feel that for a lot of Taurus people, they already know the answers. They already know what it is that they have to do, but maybe they kept on delaying. Maybe they kept on thinking that things will eventually change. But there is some form of situation right here and right now for a lot of Taurus people, wherein it's not that things. <laughs> Will change, but it's really more of the fact we're in. Things cannot be the same way anymore, and we need to really change things up. And it's not gonna change unless I do something about it, unless I say something about it. So that is really the key thing here. That 
a lot of Taurus people are going to be needing to keep in mind. So messages are co going to come in and um, I would say that as a precaution to be careful um, when it comes to communicating and understanding with other people because um, uh, <laughs> communication can be very very tricky during this month I would say for a lot of you guys it could be leading to a lot of confusion a lot of upset can be happening and it will be up to you how you handle this and i would say that for your own sake to don't take the back seat you know if you feel that something is not right you need to confront this head on to actually resolve things and not running away with problems or, or uh trying to be um the martyr of a relationship forgiving the person or ignoring them um with what they are doing despite the wrongdoings that they are doing <laughs> towards you so so yeah this is going to be a month filled with lessons um filled with experiences and open realizations that will help you have some form of growth not just with your relationships with other people and not just with your career relationships you know your colleagues with other people with the people that you talk to online or offline but this is going to teach you something with how you deal with your relationships in general and you know the need to be respected you know and the need to um to allow yourself to give yourself some form of respect i kind of feel that for a lot of people you know they take um they a lot of a lot of Taurus, I feel that in this reading that I'm picking up, they don't value themselves too much. Like, yes, they do value themselves to a certain extent, but they allow other people to step on them. So this is going to be a time wherein you are going to be fighting back because you you guys would need to change something for that a uh, situation to actually change, for people to start respecting you, for a person to to be more willing to do something for you not just not because you demanded it not because um of uh, of favors or um <laughs> no matter what circumstances um that might be aligned with that but because you actually deserve it and because you feel that it is something that you should have um in your life and you know so if someone um it's like you know asking your boyfriend or girlfriend to buy you a gift this is not just about them buying you a gift because you ask for it but they are willing to buy you a gift for for example valentine's i mean it's just an example or birthday you know they haven't really celebrated anything to you for the longest time and because you have allowed them to abuse you to a certain extent they have stopped you know they have stopped taking special attention to you they have stopped taking care of you so this is going to be a time wherein you you actually change that situation wherein they become more willing to to show you much more love to to really respect you and give you some form of special recognition um like they should <laughs> so um yeah this is going to be a month filled with lessons not just for your partnerships and relationships but it's also going to be a lesson about um that has a lot to do with your um maturity and growth and life and with how you handle relationships and that is can that can actually change things up a big game changer when it comes to your love life and relationship situations and that's going to be for your month of march taurus thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and if you do want a more personal reading and um, specifically done for you because these are really more of a general feel so you probably would need to relate this reading to your own situation and how it actually can play out um so yeah you have to keep you know hearing the the keywords that i keep saying to actually relate this to your own situation so that it actually makes sense so um 
yeah uh so if you do want to book a session with me if you if you have questions that you need to have answers on specifically job for you you can do that by booking a session through my site and that starts by chrissy.com and i shall see you guys again next month bye